What's up, Demonia Joe here for Triple Six Custom Axes and Bicycles. Um, just giving you an update. Uh, let's talk about bicycles. It's been a while since I've built any uh, BMX bikes uh, and all that because uh, basically I built my last one and then I rediscovered my love for guitar again. And it kind of started off small, but those of you know, who know me, once I, I, I become interested in whatever hobby it is, if you want to call it a hobby, um, that I like, I go 1,000% into it. So, um, for some reason, uh, I wanted to start all over in learning how to play guitar. Now, I've been playing my guitar, quote unquote, uh, since basically I was 10 I'm I'm damn near 60 okay anyways uh, and during the 80s and early 90s um, I played in a thrash band we did the thrash band thing back in those days played hella backyard parties and played quite a few shows did a little touring up and down the coast and that was it and then in around 2000-ish, uh, or late 90s, I got into music again. I stopped playing thrash metal and all that in about 91 when I got my job at Procter & Gamble. Then I didn't start playing music again until about 98. That lasted till about 2003 or 4 maybe? No, 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 no. That's when we had the studio. And I probably stopped around 2010-ish. Something like that. Anyways, uh, let's bring you up to the present. Now I'm playing guitar again, and um, I want to start all over and relearn it. So uh, I basically, back then, I played a lot of music. A lot of my, my tunes I made up had heavily distorted guitars because uh, I, I loved metal and punk rock and anything hardcore like that. Then I got into the funk, so I started playing clean, and then I got into turntablism. Well, now I'm back into playing clean. Now I have a whole hell of fucking, I got hell of effects in there. You can't even see it, but they're all in that box, along with some chew toys for my doggies. And I know, even though I stocked up on effects, uh, I am just going for the straight Stratocaster sound. And why I'm into Stratocasters, I don't know. Before I thought they were just like the most twangiest guitars ever and I wasn't like, I wasn't going for that. I like the heavier double humbucker sound. Nowadays, I am all stratted out dude and that's just some of them I don't know if you see outside my door I got the ones I made hanging up that's my real fender my Ibanez another one I made up there so yeah so there's that so I'm going back to old school and I'm gonna learn blues a la Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan style um, I didn't know I didn't know what it was called, but now I'm actually learning embellishments within a certain chord where you play a chord and then you use part of that chord and you break it up with hammer-ons and pull-offs, so to speak, kind of like what I'm doing here, to get extra, more extra, like smaller riffs or smaller chords out of that one chord, if you know what I mean. It's, uh, just listen to, um... How Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix or or Lenny by uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan I learned how to play Lenny finally I loved that song even back when I was listening to metal I, I just loved that song and now I know how to play it as for the lead I can just fake it and play some kind of blues lick to it but I want to learn it like how Stevie played it so but anyways, I have been making my own Stratocaster guitars. Here's one of them. 
and here's the other which I'm about to finish then you probably saw the other two on the wall and then I got another one over there in that pile of guitars you can't even see there's so many goddamn guitars back there and I finally got Emmy a uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan Fender Strat number one wife guitar clone that Fender had made uh, it's pretty expensive but I got it it's in the case over there also got me a Marshall head it's not your normal JCM head this one's called a uh, Hydra 4 mode something or other it's made for metal it does have some clean sounds so I'm gonna I'm wondering how the clean sound sounds like on that this head it's this head is made for a fucking metal it's gnarly and then uh, yeah so that is what is up I'm uh, as you can tell I got another guitar right there that I'm building oh here's the point I was gonna say so me building up guitars I'm learning about the electronics and stuff on on these single coil pickups and and capacitors and different size pots and so off the wall I went and I ordered this Carparelli uh, loaded pick guard for a Stratocaster and this thing costs as much as a decent Squire Stratocasters. Now Squire is the cheaper or the budget brand Fender Stratocaster so you don't have to spend thousands of dollars but actually Squire has different levels now. They got your budget minded, your intermediate and they got your expensive Squires. Yes they have expensive Squires. The expensive Squires go for about four five hundred bucks. That's pretty expensive for you know a Squire. Anyways, this thing almost costs as much as an intermediate Squire. And I didn't know about this company until I looked it up. Basically, this whole thing, let me put it this way. On a real Fender, like this, okay, this is a real Fender, but it's a Mexican Fender. I'm not saying it's any worse or better than American Fenders, but American Fenders are worth more because they're made in America right okay and, and the thing is this um, these fenders are made like right over the border next to the fender the American fender um, company which is near the Mexican border and the Mexican fender company is like a few miles away right across the border so why the difference in price it's just because of the word America weird anyways so let's take a loaded that loaded pit guard with with what you see there now this was upgraded with this uh, a Seymour Duncan 59 uh, humbucker that is a humbucker not a single coil pickup so something like that probably costs about 300 bucks or no not even that much I take that back not 300 bucks something like that cost probably I know 150 maybe 200 bucks this thing here over 300 bucks so that may be a Porsche right nice Porsche this is a Ferrari so that's how I'll compare the two anyways Okay, so I was going to put this one on that that guitar right there, but the difference is this. So in order for me to keep costs down uh, regarding my guitars, I buy, I buy these bodies in bulk, and when you do that, it's way cheaper. Now, this wood is basswood, basswood, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's, it's a pretty light wood and for some reason it does sustain pretty well but it's light it's not heavy like your your uh fender stratocaster bodies which is made of mahogany or ash some real heavy wood 
so and then when I, I when I try to finish these guitars I only put a, a few coats of clear and I really don't wax them and polish them down and use the the thousand grit sandpaper not yet that helps keep costs down too but I cannot just I cannot put this on that um, lower budget body so I went ahead and uh, got me another uh, more expensive body made by this company called A&E not the television network but uh, it's not A&E it's just AE and uh, that body it's red and had binding on it so you'll be seeing that uh, project come up pretty soon that'll be the next big project uh, if I do sell this one that body uh, th this guitar um, I don't know what to call it yet but it's gonna be all red uh, it will be uh, around 800 bucks um, because the, the ones I'm making right here they're uh, pretty uh, price friendly what they are they're 400 bucks and you're thinking oh I could get a Chinese clone for 89 90 bucks true but you see these loaded pit guards that's where the money is I put the money in this oh plus I also put the money in the tremolo bars because if you notice these gold plated tremolo bars if this will they are fender tremolo bars they're not Chinese copies of whatever I mean Chinese copies of parts are pretty good they're pretty decent there are shit ones out there but they're pretty decent uh, so I put all of those kind of tremolo bars like this one it's Fender I put them on the guitars I make uh, as for the machine heads this is a nice uh, set of I forgot the brand of machine heads you know all all uh, sealed machine heads right here I still got the tape on the back of these gold plated so those aren't cheap either I will admit I did buy some cheap ones for this guitar only because they're skulls and when I say cheap they're not cheap in quality I should just say lower priced budget uh, but of course those come from China so they they are still good tuners they're, they just things are just cheaper price wide in China totally so and that's where I get some of my parts the problem with that is it takes fucking a month a month and a half for the parts to get here so I have shit like that sitting here like this was sitting here didn't have these I got these today I got the whammy bar thing today I got this this loaded pickup guard just uh, um, I don't know about a week ago I had that body painted I don't know two weeks ago I got the neck a week ago so I have to wait for these parts unless I ordered the parts from America which I have done on reverb.com and guitarfetish.com but of course uh, when you order from America it's a little bit more expensive anyways just wanted to give you an update on what's happening with the guitar building and with the bicycle building uh, right now um, I haven't been going biking lately basically because one I told you like I've switched my interest to building guitars I'll sit here and build a guitar all day two it gets pretty goddamn cold up here in Lodi man <coughs> from what I I'm hearing we get the chill and the cold coming down from Tahoe and Tahoe's like fucking snow <coughs> <coughs> so it's pretty cold cold enough to where I cannot ride with like my big thick jacket on and sweats and pants on under that because it gets cold here I mean 35 is your average morning here sometimes it gets a little colder so 35 degrees that is so Anyways, uh, just wanted to update you on what's happening. Uh, stay tuned for the continuation of this. The completion of that guitar. That's uh, Strato Blaster number 5. This is number 6. And uh, yeah, th those will be up for sale for 400 bucks. Stay tuned for this, this build too. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. 
the Moon and Joe out. Like and subscribe. Peace.